What is archaeology and genealogy for Foucault? I am Rodrigo Guim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. What do you understand by archaeology and genealogy according to Foucault? Comment below the video so I can enter into a conversation with you. Archaeology is a search for the rules that organize discourses, and discourses are taken by Foucault as complex practices, and not as a binary between true and false. Discourse is not something that represents objects. Discourse is part of the production of objects. For example, gender, man, etc. These are discursive as well as practical productions. Discourse is not tied to what is already there, so to speak. Discourses produce are part of the production of objects. Foucault's archaeology is a way of understanding the formation of discourses and how they are always present in what they present. It distances itself from the forms of metaphysical knowledge, be it knowledge that seeks to systematize reality or that seeks to show how reality works. Far from these representative forms of the conception of language and knowledge, and in a way against them, archaeology will question the will to truth that operates within discourses. It will also restore discourse to its event character, and it will in the end abolish this, the sovereignty of the signifier. Anyway, every mode of language or representative knowledge is shown by the way they work in relation to other discourses and practices, in a web of relations of discourses with other discourses and practices. Metaphysics posits that behind every language and practice there is a sovereign signifier, or a sovereign truth, or a sovereign subject. It seeks to domesticate the flow of events to a static image of what it calls reality. But it denies its own production of that reality through its metaphysical discourse, as it does not recognize other forms of discourse than the metaphysical, the representative, the one that posits things in themselves are origin and cause of everything. As a counterpoint and attempt to open thought in relation to the dominant metaphysical way of thinking, archaeology seeks to show that in practice we have constant clashes between discourses and practices, that we cannot think of any discourse without a confrontational or alliance type of relation to other discourses. Archaeology comes to question the unity of time, the sovereignty of the subject, and the possibility of total knowledge that are so dear to metaphysics. But it does not stop there, as it was not just done in a reactive way to metaphysics. Archaeology as a way of looking at the dynamics of history is a look at the historical conditions of possibility of knowledge against metaphysical thinking, which understands knowledge, particularly that knowledge that manages to be labeled scientific, as a univocal product. Archaeology sees knowledge as a historical product within conditions of possibility, and not as a single evolutionary line through which ever better and more evolved knowledge would be built. Citation. Archaeology is a history of the conditions of possibilities of knowledge. These would depend on the naked experience of order and its ways of being. There is, for Foucault, between the fundamental codes of a culture and the scientific and philosophical theories that explain why there is an order, an intermediate region 
prior to words, perceptions and gestures that must translate it with greater or lesser accuracy. More solid, more archaic, less doubtful, always more truthful than the theories that fix as an experience of order the historical considerations of the possibility of knowledge. Archaeology is not an interpretative discipline. It does not deal with documents as signs of something else, but describes them as practices. With that, it does not seek to establish the continuous and insensitive transition that unites all discourse to what precedes it and to what follows it, but its specificity. It is not ordered to the work, to find there the expression of individuality of the author or society, the instance of the creative subject. It is neither psychology nor sociology. It defines discursive practices that cross works. End of citation from the book Foucault's Vocabulary by Edgardo Castro. This last statement is very strong. Archaeology, citation, defines discursive practices that cross works. End of citation. For Foucault, discursive practices come from various places and from different types of relations. When we analyze discourses, we always have to see them as having exteriorities. As cohesive and sovereign as it may seem, a discourse is only built on its relations with resistance, with differences. A metaphysical interpretation would seek the origin of the discourse in a subject, be it subjectivity or society. But Foucault shows that discourses cross through subjects and societies, and for that to happen, there are necessarily discourses that resist them or that mark differences, and for this very reason we are able, if we are attentive to the external relations of discourses, to understand these relations. And from this point, in the exteriorities, in the relations between discourses, we are also talking about relations of domination of some discourses over others. This is where archaeology gives way to genealogy, which seeks not only to look at exteriorities, but also to understand the power relations between discourses, practices, and forms of knowledge. Genealogy, which I already talked about in another video, shows that all knowledge that is placed as scientific or erudite is only due to power relations in relation to other knowledges that Foucault called subjugated knowledges. The genealogist is one who tries to shed light on the modes of dominance of dominant knowledges and somehow open up thought and questioning on the ways of subjugating other knowledges, the knowledges that Foucault also called local. It is the knowledge of those who are labeled as delinquents in relation to the prison system, the knowledge of those who are called crazy or abnormal in relation to biomedicine system, and so on. The production of knowledge is inseparable from the ordering of spaces as well as from the domination of discursive practices in the form of institutions and discourse and the production of subjectivities. Let us give the term genealogy to the union of erudite knowledge and local memories, which allows us to establish a historical knowledge of struggles and to make use of this knowledge tactically today. Foucault to lectures. Foucault then makes it clear that doing genealogy is not just exercising a method, but exercising the production of knowledge that will destabilize, with a tactical intention, the dominant discourses where they are causing impossibilities of counter-memory, thus making difference impossible. Foucault continues. If we were to characterize it in two terms, 
then archaeology would be the appropriate methodology of this analysis of local discursivities, and genealogy would be the tactics whereby, on the basis of the descriptions of these local discursivities, the subjected knowledges which were thus released would be brought into play. Foucault to lectures. A critique that we can make to Foucault is that he does not talk much about how subjugated knowledges can have more conditions of possibility. Gayatri Spivak's critique in the text Can the Subaltern Speak? is interesting here because, as she puts it, the intellectual is not enough to do the job of showing the relations of domination and resistance between knowledges, so that a subjugated knowledge has more conditions of possibility. For this to happen, much more is needed. There must be greater changes in discursive practices, and this implies institutional, cultural, and historical changes. But perhaps for that very reason, Foucault did not enter that point either. Perhaps it is precisely because he knew that it is not up to him or anyone else alone. Even so, Spivak's critique is valid, because the critic's job is precisely to continue thought where it sometimes seems to have stopped. Well, people, now I need you to comment, ask on Facebook or YouTube, so I can answer you in the next videos. I don't make any attempt here at talking about all that can be said about archaeology or genealogy. I make my choices and interpretations. This project is an immersion in Nietzsche and Foucault. It is a conversation via videos where the questions brought by you I bring to the debate and I also bring new questions. Thank you and see you next week.